Hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. I hope all is well with you guys. Good evening. I hope you had a wonderful dinner. All right. And I hope you're watching some great shit on TV or taking a break so you can listen to the Queen of Wands. Thanks for joining me again. All the love, likes, the shares. Thank you for all of my subscribers, each and every one of you. Okay. So I have some more energy for you guys. All right. And I see like two situations here. All right. And I'm going to go dig into them. Because somebody took a risk. It's definitely a gambler in a situation. Definitely a drinker. Somebody's definitely going to the casino. But somebody could have hit big at the casino. Okay? And it's a gaslighting situation. Somebody's about to gaslight a situation. Okay? Now, somebody could have fell in love with somebody they thought was so fine. So beautiful. So handsome. This could be a male or female, but this person did nothing but create obstacles for somebody's life. That's all this person did was create a lot of obstacles. And this person could have gaslighted somebody after maybe their winnings disappeared. Okay. Hmm. All right. So the next energy I got right here is somebody could have been invited to something, a gathering just invite it. It could have been five people there. I, I, I see the five of wands. All right. But also it was a motive. All right. And what happened was the ten of swords. So something could have happened in this situation that somebody got invited somewhere, but it was the ten of swords. Somebody literally could have got stabbed in this situation as well. All right. I got some air sign energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius here. It was like a setup here. Like somebody invited somebody somewhere and they could have actually went and it was a setup. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify these obstacles that somebody is taking someone through here. Somebody taking somebody through a lot of obstacles. It could be someone with a fair, uh, fair skin. This person could be a Caucasian. All right. But this person... This is the person either you're taking someone through obstacles or someone is doing this to you. Okay, so let's find out this information here. All decks have been shuffled, but I still like to go. All right, so somebody's obstacles here for a stable woman who got their shit together. All right, somebody trying to take this person through a lot of obstacles. Somebody who's stable and got their shit together. What's this energy of the obstacles? Yeah. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody want to reconcile a relationship after taking you through a lot of obstacles. All right. Yeah. It's this tyrant. It's this narcissist. Somebody took you through a lot of shit and now they want to reconcile this relationship with you. Okay. And divine said they ain't shit but a fucking liar. All right, this person is a big liar, not a little one. It could be a male or a female, okay? But I get it's this energy right here. Like somebody thinks somebody is so fine that they can just fall. They'll keep falling for they fuck shit, all right? Yeah, this is jumping to conclusions. Just always, you know, hearing what they want to hear. Somebody always jump to their own conclusions about shit. All right, what's this energy, Holy Spirit, about these obstacles? Because it's just a sexual connection. It's just sex-based. I feel like this is succubus energy, okay? Somebody was just sleeping with you only, all right? It was a red flag in this situation. This person returning is a red flag, all right? Is what Divine is saying here. Yeah, it's time to break free from this situation, it's time to break the chains. It's time to break a generational curse here. Okay? Yes. Because somebody is definitely facing karma. So whoever this person is that caused a lot of challenges in your life, somebody is definitely facing karma. They can have a lot of legal issues as well. Okay? Yeah. Because somebody catfished you. Somebody lied to you. They were not who they appeared to be. All right? And they're facing karma. All right, Holy Spirit, yes. Divine said this was a shady female. All right, so this was a shady female who did some fuck shit to you, okay? And this person is nothing but the she-devil energy. So Divine said they got this person. They're facing karma right now. If somebody did some fuck shit to you and caused a bunch of challenges in your life, because look at this shit. Divine said 
They lifted you. All right. Spirit is protecting you from any bullshit and any shady ass fuck shit bitches that's trying to fuck you over. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on because they had hidden motives here. Okay. And it's a gathering. Somebody's been invited to some type of gathering here. But like I said, it's hidden motives. All right. Yeah, and just be careful here because somebody might want to talk about you or put you on the hot seat type of energy here. All right. Somebody's definitely a smoker, a heavy smoker here. What's these energies? All right. So just be careful about what you smoke. All right. At this party or at this gathering. Just be careful about that. Yeah. Somebody's going to be highly pissed off. It's going to be some drama here. It could be some arguing here, some disagreements here at this gathering. It's not going to be what you think it is. And Divine said, you need to cut ties from this situation. Maybe you should not go to this gathering. Because I see somebody's pissed off here. I see a bunch of drama and shit. All right? And it's something about the smoke. So maybe you guys shouldn't smoke here. Or if it's a marijuana or something, is it laced? All right? Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this gathering? What is happening at this gathering? Tell us about this gathering. It's a hot mess bitch here. It's going to be some drama. Somebody going to be drinking, getting drunk here. All right? It could even be 911 caught in this situation. But it's a hot mess bitch here. And a hot mess bitch could be throwing this drama, this gathering. Yeah, this could lead to a death. This could lead to an argument. This is where somebody might trans transition over. Okay, and then the other energy I get right here is that this might be a funeral as well. But it's nothing but drama. All right, somebody's pissed off here too. Whatever this gathering is, it could be a party or it could be a funeral. All right, it's a wake up call for somebody. Whatever this is, this gathering, it's going to be a wake up call. It's somebody's karma. It's somebody's judgment. Whatever's going to happen here or whatever did happen here is somebody's judgment or karma. Yup. Somebody's at a cry for help. Somebody feel trapped in a situation here that they got themselves in. All right. And this is an egotistical female. I don't think you guys should go to this gathering. It seems like it's going to be nothing but bullshit and drama. All right. You guys need to eat healthy. Eat fruits and vegetables, okay? Yeah, and somebody's hacking your computer still. Trying to hack your shit, okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy here? What's this energy for this reading? Like I said, succubus energy. All right? It's definitely succubus energy here. This is like sexual energy, flirtation. All right, this could be a house party where people get drunk and start sleeping with each other. All right, this could be a swingers party. And like I said, or this could be a funeral or this could have been a, some type of party where someone actually could have died. Okay. Someone could have transitioned. Okay, or a funeral. So it's some shady ass energy here. It's like shady energy, succubus energy, people hiding shit here, secrets here. This just don't seem like a safe party to me. All right. Look at that. Sketchy. It's a whole bunch of fuck shit going around here. I feel like this is a setup. You know, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is my confirmation. Okay. That this is a setup. Okay. This is my confirmation. All right. Holy Spirit. What else? Okay, yeah, it's a narcissist here. It's definitely a narcissist here. Okay, yes, and look at this. This might be a swingers event. All right, and I feel like it's drugs and shit here. And I feel like in this swingers event right here or whatever this is, I mean, somebody need to cut ties from this energy, okay? But also, I see that somebody might pass away. Somebody might transition over. Okay? I just feel like somebody might pass away here. It could be due to drugs. It could be due to something. Or this could have happened. And somebody could be hiding what happened at a gathering. Alright? Somebody could be hiding what literally happened here 
at this gathering. Okay. So let's see what other kind of energies we got out here. And if there's anything that we're not sure about, we're going to clarify on it. Okay. So it's a power couple energy here. All right. Somebody's very reckless and careless in this energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Reckless and careless in some energy here. Okay. That was a confirmation. The next energy I got right here. Yeah. It's a boss bitch energy. All right. So somebody could be a boss. I got a couple of cards that fell on the floor. Those always mean something here. Okay. And um, yeah, somebody's heart is restricted. Somebody don't know how to love. All right. And somebody keep going back and forth in a situation. So somebody could be involved with a boss bitch type of energy, but somebody keep going back and forth like they don't know what they really want with this person. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's these energies? What's these energies? All right. Yeah. Every piece of you aches. You know, somebody's aching for you. Somebody's in love with you. Somebody's hurting over you. They're aching. They're heartbroken. Okay. Type of energy here. Yeah. Somebody doubted you. Somebody doubted who you was. All right. I see a queen pen type of energy here. All right. Don't doubt this person. Okay. Somebody feel like it's now or never. So that could be the boss bitch queen pen type of energy I'm feeling here. But somebody want to one final shot to try to see if you guys have something if they can't connect with you all right and somebody's all about you know like fighting and fussing and then fucking you know somebody just like makeup sex all right somebody feel like you made them a better person they know they're not living right somebody know they live in foul but they look back and they realize that you made them a better person and that's why they really miss you all right but somebody kind of chose the same sex relationship over you. You made them better. Somebody could have made a decision that they want to be involved with the same sex. All right. They could be fixated on the same sex lover. Okay. And it's not seeing you every day is hard. Yeah. Somebody really want to be with who they want to be with. And it could be a same sex lover. And they want to see that person. But it's kind of hard. By not seeing that person every day. Right? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? All right, I want to be closer than six feet. So they do want to see you. They really do want to see you and, you know, be with you and talk to you. All right? And somebody, they want to beg for it. They definitely want to have sex. They will beg for it. If you say no, all right? Yeah, because you got your shit on lock. You're not just sleeping with anybody. You're not giving it up to anybody. You guard it, highly guard it. And that's why they're willing to beg for it. All right. Yeah. Somebody also want to get you pregnant. Hmm. Okay. They want to create something wonderful. But also I see pregnancy energy here. Okay. The next energy, Holy Spirit. All right. And this is come through, boo. So somebody just wants you to come through. You could even have a key to this person's home here. All right. I have a crush on you. Somebody got a crush on you. Okay. And this is shame. Mm -hmm. If they really told you the truth, you would have been hurt. So they chose to lie to you instead. Okay. And this is clarity. Yeah. You found out a lot of clarity. You gained clarity in the situation here. All right. You could have even found out somebody having STD. That's what you got some clarity about. Okay. What's this energy here? Yeah. Somebody's overly jealous. Okay. So let's clarify this jealousy and see why people are so jealous of you. Okay. All signs. All right. Holy Spirit. What's this jealousy about? Give us some clarity about this jealousy. Give us some clarity about this jealousy. Yeah. Because somebody's just a big fucking liar. Somebody always lie about shit. You know, so they jealous because all they do is lie. You know, they have to lie about shit. Okay. Yeah. And because you cut ties from the ass. This is why. Because they're a big fucking liar. And you just cut ties from that. You ain't want to keep dealing with a fucking liar. Okay. Yeah. And this person ain't shit but a red flag. You knew some shit wasn't right with this person. And now they got the nerve to be jealous because you got rid of their ass. And you know they weren't shit but a succubus. Just want to sleep with you. 
and now they're jealous and mad. All right. This is the same shit that happened in the past life. So somebody's definitely receiving past life and this life karma. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could have passed away here. All right. This could have been a jealous succubus energy. All right. This person also could have did the same shit in the past life. Somebody could have got killed here or died here due to this jealousy in the past life. All right. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? And now they're facing karma for that as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side in a situation. Mm. So somebody could have went over to the other side and thought the grass was greener and it could have cost them their life. Okay. Yeah, because they kept switching up, going back and forth here. Somebody was wearing a mask. Somebody was hiding a lot of shit that could have got their ass killed. All right? They could have been hiding that they was bisexual, and somebody could have been hiding the STD, their double life. Okay? Yeah, they could have been filling people's head with bullshit. Somebody could have stalked this person and found out some shit. Hmm. Somebody was just filling people's head with bullshit. Yes. And sleeping with multiple lovers. Hmm. Yep. Somebody was dealing with childhood wounds. This is why somebody's jealous here. All right. They, you know, it's like somebody got into a relationship with somebody and they brought all these problems to them and they had to cut ties from this person. And this is also why you was probably guided to cut ties from this person because of all this jealousy and hate and all this bickering and shit, animosity and black magic. You know, this was just too much jealousy. And you had to cut ties from this. This was stressful. It stressed you the fuck out, all right? And somebody's just playing with fire. And now somebody's having a wake-up call. They could be definitely facing karma or some shit could have happened, but somebody could have had to defend themselves in the situation. It could have even been some type of shootout. But somebody was playing with fire. Somebody could have set a fire here. It's a lot of jealousy going on here. Yeah, against this strong person. Somebody hate you. Somebody is overly jealous of you because you are a strong person. All right? You're very strong here. It's this person, this power-hungry person. So this person see you as competition. You're this strong person, but this person is just about power. Somebody wanted control over you. All right? And they couldn't get that. And they kept on doing it with uh, death spells, with black magic here. They're definitely suffering from childhood wounds. This could have been your same competitor in a past life, and you didn't even know about it. All right. This is inconspicuous. Like I said, you didn't even know because this person was so secretive and doing shit behind the dark. Just doing shit behind the dark, but just holding a, a grudge against you out of this world here. Yes. Very egotistical. Power hungry. This is somebody who wanted all the power. She didn't want you to have no power. You know, none. All right. Hmm. Yup. And it was a bunch of broken ass promises here. This all this person got was broken promises. This person did all this work to you to only turn around and get treated just like you did. Is what I see here. Somebody went through a lot of shit. Somebody even had a lot of threesomes and stuff with people. You know, had a lot of threesomes. Somebody feel like they just got played. Somebody did everything in their power to tempt somebody, to keep somebody stuck in fuck shit and some type of sexual lust energy here. You know, night of wands, in and out, your bed, your heart, your life, your emotions. Yeah, they just kept switching up on you. All right. They kept going back and forth, thinking the grass is greener. One minute they want you, the next minute they don't. Yup, this could have cost somebody a fucking life, man. Y'all know it's been a serial stalker out here. Yes, look at this shit. Somebody got set up. This gathering was a possible setup. That's what this was. And I feel like somebody got hurt here. Yeah, look at this. Somebody was dealing with somebody that was crazy. Something really could have happened at a gathering that cost somebody their life. You know, somebody shouldn't have went to a gathering or if you get invited, maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, it came out again because somebody was crazy. Somebody was playing with fire. They could have started a fire here. 
Yes, and Divine said, you freed yourself from this situation. You walked away. You dodged a fucking bullet because something really happened here. You know, it did. This is with a single female who didn't want to commit, but she still wanted control. Yeah, somebody met somebody just like them, a narcissist. Okay, yes, and they made a bad business deal with this person. Somebody hooked up with this person and shook hands with the devil here. And they got caught up in some shit, all right? And they thought they was in some happy relationship type of energy here, all right? They ain't get shit off the deal, but fucked over. They said, yeah, sexual connection. That's all they got. They gave up everything to have a sexual connection with somebody. And it was probably the devil. And now they're facing karma, divine said. This is what they wanted. They gave up everything to be with this person. All right. Y'all put all this competition in your life. Start all this drama with you. And all they got was a bad business deal and facing some serious karma with someone who is fucking crazy because they was playing with fire. This is what somebody is going through. And that's why you're being advised to stay back from this situation. 111. Use your intuition here. Somebody is caught up in some shit because they kept going back and forth thinking the grass was green on the other side. So let's clarify why they thought the grass was green on the other side because this led to nothing but jealousy. Nothing but jealousy. All right. So Holy Spirit, tell us why. Because now somebody is like scared. Somebody could be hiding. Somebody tapping into their energy and your energy. Holy Spirit, why was the grass greener on the other side? Why did they keep going back and forth, Holy Spirit? Why was the grass greener? Because they was obsessed with this person. So this person was offering everything, okay? Somebody was definitely playing with fire. Yes, they, they was told to cut ties from this energy. This was a red flag, and somebody did not, you know, take the signs and synchronicities here. Yep, somebody did not. They kept going back. They were told to break free from this connection. Somebody was obsessed with them, is obsessed with them. And they just kept going back over there, thinking the grass was going to, you know, get greener, thinking this was going to work out. They kept putting all their energy into this, you know, and seeing what was going to happen here. All right. Holy Spirit, what else we need to know about this? Yep. And they also had childhood wounds. Somebody was definitely facing childhood wounds in this connection. All right? Yep. It was like not pure intentions. This was a complete setup to me. And I just feel like somewhere down the road, somebody could have got hurt in the situation. Okay? And, you know, as I said, somebody could have started a fire. For some reason, my candle here got heavier with the fire. Okay? And I just had to put it out a little bit because the fire got too heavy. Okay, let me light this incense so I can, you know, get this right here. Get some clean energy in here because somebody got hurt here to me. All right, so let me check out some more of this energy. Yeah, somebody got set up. Their intentions was not pure here. It was some, all right, and this is like the full moon. Somebody could have even did moon magic to get this right here set up to do this. Okay, yes, and they facing karma for this. Somebody also in legal trouble. Something happened here. All right, yes, because I said they was playing with fire. And my candle, like, got heavy. This is, like, not cool energy here. So I'm telling you guys, somebody should not have went out to a gathering because they didn't do nothing but get pissed off. That's all they got was pissed off, okay? And they got a wake-up call. I feel like this was a complete setup here. All right? Yes, it was competition. They could have even gotten to some fight or something, you know? Yeah, somebody's a heavy smoker, or maybe it's something that somebody smoked. Hmm. I got a lot of energy for y'all today, I see, huh? All right, so let's go off into this. Any more messages that we need to know, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know? All right, what else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Yep, that somebody just kept on going back and forth, back and forth when they were told to leave a situation alone, okay? When they were told to. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit, about this connection? What happened here? 
All right, that somebody was playing a lot of mind games. Somebody was playing a lot of head games in the situation. What happened at this gathering, Holy Spirit? Could you give us some more information here? What happened at this gathering? All right, so somebody was just trying to please somebody, pacify somebody. They really didn't want to go, but they just did it to go, all right, to keep the peace, all right? And they kind of secretly admire that person. They kind of dig that person, all right? And also, somebody trying to get somebody to marry them type of energy here. Yeah, it was an apology given here. So they could have went as, you know, a way of making up with somebody. Somebody could have apologized in a situation. They accepted apology and then attended some type of get together here. All right. But at this get together, they was, you know, they wasn't really feeling it. It was cold. They felt different. They was trying to make up with somebody just, and you know, they wasn't feeling themselves at this gathering. Okay. Yeah. It was a guarded energy here. Somebody was very guarded here. And yeah, somebody's in a commitment. This could have been some type of commitment. This could have been some type of uh, wedding. This could have been some type of um, engagement party. Something where maybe somebody proposed to somebody here. All right. Divine said it was all a trap. Hmm. It was all a trap, all right? And somebody's growing old. Somebody's getting too old for all this dumb shit, all right? It's like, when are you going to grow up? When is somebody going to grow up here and stop playing mind games with somebody, all right? At some gathering, maybe somebody exposed somebody's secrets at a gathering. Maybe they exposed somebody's secrets in front of family, in front of friends, in front of everybody. Maybe somebody got exposed that way and it was a trap. Yes, because things were spiraling out of control and somebody tried to humiliate somebody. So I feel like if it was some type of proposal, some get together or something in regards to a wedding, something could have got exposed. Somebody could have got embarrassed. Somebody could have gotten into a fight here. Anything else about this, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody was exposed for being a player. Wow. So it could have been some type of gathering and, you know, it could have been a couple event or whatever, but somebody could have got exposed for being a player. Yup. And it was the rival. The rival exposed this player. Something definitely came out here. Okay. Yeah. They was talking about, they slept with this person. This is somebody they could have recently slept with. Okay. Yes. And it's like, after that got exposed, somebody realized that they're different than this person they're with. Somebody's realizing that they're different. Somebody's realizing that who they're with got a bunch of fucking secrets. Somebody got humiliated and exposed at a family gathering or some type of some type of gathering. Okay, is what I'm getting here. And somebody distanced themselves from a situation. I feel like somebody got humiliated. Mm -hmm. They separate themselves from this person after they got exposed for being a player. This is what I'm getting here. You know, yep. After they got exposed for going back and forth on somebody. So I feel like there's a player who got exposed and it could have been from a rival or a third party. All right. I told you guys the motives behind that gathering. All right. And it created a lot of obstacles. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys for this reading. Just trying to catch you up on, you know, any type of energy. So if you want your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just pulling energy tonight. Whatever comes out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.